Hi everybody, thanks for doing business with Ben Tech and thanks for buying one of our amazing products. Today I'm going to explain how to use the CMS program on your PC. This program allows you to display your IP cameras, DVR or NVRs. Now first thing we need to do is go to the web page www.nvzip.com dot com slash en slash login dot shtml it's pretty easy to find on internet anyway this address is at the bottom of this video you can just copy and paste it once you get here please do click on download CMS the program will start downloading it will take a few seconds. After downloading, process is completed. Please open the CMS program and proceed to install the program on your computer or tablet. Here where you see setup. This process will take a few minutes more. This program is completely safe, so please set all the permissions on your tablet or computer. Here at the CMS setup wizard you can select your language or and click on install. This program is now running on your PC or tablet. Remember this program is really friendly. This is the main screen of the CMS program. First thing that we need to do is select device which is at the bottom of this screen to add your DVR, MBR or IP camera. Let's log in and then select device list to create a new group. This new group could be called as you like. In this case I'm gonna call it Ventech. Then press OK. The device you want to add is connected to the same network of your PC. It will automatically appear on the left hand of this menu. Please do double click on the device and it will be added to the group previously created. Or use the arrows at the middle of this window. Now you have your two devices already added to this new group. Now go exit and we have the two devices on the main screen. In case that the cameras or devices do not appear on your network, select the group you have already created and do click on manually at the bottom of this window to add your device. In this case I'm going to show you how to add a DVR. Here a device configuration you can create a name for this specific device I'm going to call it DVR here at vendor select NVSIP and the connection type select cloud SSE underscore port please make sure you have selected this option otherwise the CMS will not work please introduce the DVR ID this ID could be found at the main menu of your DVR. Right click on the main screen of your DVR and select System Setup from the pop up menu. Then find the System sub menu and please select Information. Here we have the device ID number. Remember, this ID number is normally where the info icon is for every single DVR or MVR. Okay, let me introduce it manually. After we have already introduced the device ID number manually, let's go to press OK. Let's carry on and add an IP camera manually. Please select manually again here at the device configuration please introduce a name for this IP camera. At vendor please select MVSIP again and connection type select cloud SSE port. So now let's get 
the device ID from our IP camera. Gonna use, of course, a Ventec camera. And here is the ID from this device label under the model of this camera. Go introduce it manually and press OK. All right, here we have our devices already added. Please click on exit. Here at the left top of our main screen, the groups are listed. In this case, we created only one group called Bentec. And here you have the devices added to this specific group. Please do right click and select connect all. Here we have all the cameras connected to both devices. The DVR I'm using right now has 16 channels, but only 4 channels have cameras connected to them. The IP camera, once you are here you can swap your cameras to different position. Now all the cameras are together, I'm gonna select split 6 and there you have all the cameras connected. On the other hand, you can select only the channels that you would like to see from the added devices. By selecting the DVR, there we have all the channels displayed from 1 to 16. As I said before, we are only using 4 channels from the 16. First, select the frame where you want your channel to be displayed. Then select the channel. For example, I have selected the first frame with the channel 1. Display channel 2 on this frame at the top. First select the frame by doing only one click and select channel 2. And so on with the rest of the channels. Let's minimize DVR and select the IP camera. If you do click on this IP camera, only one channel will appear of course it's because it's only one channel one camera sorry the streaming speed for the channels in use depends on your network speed the network speed where you are remotely connected and the network speed where the DVR is connected once you're here, you can swap your cameras to any position as we did before. This is a really friendly program and now I'm going to show you the functions on this CMS program. The first one is the device function and this one allows you to add new devices, modify or delete previously added devices. Here at settings, it shows you seven different sub settings. The channel setting allows you to modify streaming video resolution for every channel individually. You can see the different channels on your left hand by selecting enable previewing channels might be shown on your main screen otherwise you will not preview this channel this option you can control your PTC camera enabling pop-up allows you to watch your camera from your desktop as you can see you can see your cameras on your desktop while you are doing other tasks and you can modify them you can zoom in or move it this is pretty easy to do to go back to your cms program do right click and select back to the main window let's select setting one more time the time checking option allows the program to synchronize the time of the camera with the network's time these other three options here at the left side are not relevant at all so we recommend you not to mess with this other three option here at record setting you can select the file where you want to storage your videos 
you can use the option reserve this space to save some space. This one comes with 4000 megabytes by default. The other option is override previous records. Once the memory is full, it will start overriding from the older records. You can also schedule your records from different hours. I'm setting 12 from 12 to 14. This recording setting will be only storage on the PC where you are using the CMS program. It has nothing to do with the recording option set on your DVR. This is like an alternative recorder and it could be useful whether your DVR has a hard drive. Here at the record all you can start recording all the cameras at the same time. Here you can see like a leader camera signal at the bottom of each frame. On the other hand, when you use stop all recording, it will stop recording. The playback function allows you to playback the videos recorded on your DVR by selecting remote playback. For example, if you're gonna reproduce a video from a week ago, you can do it by selecting one of the days from the calendar on your left hand. Otherwise, you can play back the videos recorded on your PC by selecting local playback. Here, you can play all the channels at the same time or play only the channel selected one by one. You can also play your all videos by date, selecting the date from the calendar on your left. Here you can make a snapshot of the main screen. At layout you can split the main screen on eight or six and you can also do pop-up as we did before go back here you can change the CMS login options all our DVRs come with the username admin and the password is blank after minimize this program you can open it here at the desktop or down here on your desktop Finally, if you're gonna close this program, please use the power sign at the bottom of this window. Thank you so much for your attention and for doing business with Dentech. Do not hesitate to contact us anytime.